year two, in this last video, we're going to be looking at grouping. Now, we've already done a little bit of work on grouping in our first video, and I reckon with all the other work we've been doing in the previous two videos, you're going to be have an understanding on what grouping is and how to group. Now, when we think about it, the word grouping, if I was to say to you, go and find a group of three people, you would go and find three people, and you would become a, a part of that group. If I was to say, go and find, make yourself in a group of two, you'd find another person that would be your group. Or if I was to say, you go and find a group of 10 people, you would then go and get a group of 10 people. We're doing the same thing here today. We're finding groups, and you are going to be, going to be able to visualize that group. That means that you're going to be able to see that group without being able to actually look at it or actually be able to see the group. You're going to be able to visualize it in your head, what the group looks like. On the screen here, we have two pictures. Now, these are two pictures that we have used throughout these lessons, okay? This picture here on the left, we haven't used yet. It's got rocks. Picture on the right here has got a whole bunch of shoes. We're going to work together and we're going to group these shoes and these rocks together and we're going to find, form different kinds of groups. So let's buckle in, let's get our thinking caps on and let's get ready to find some groups. In this picture here, we have a number of shoes. Now my question for you is, can we group these shoes together? Can you visualize that now? With your head, can you group each of those pairs of shoes together? How many groups do we have of shoes? So if you were to group those shoes together, how many groups do you have? Think about it in your head first. Work it out in your head. Try and visualize it now for me, please. So I'm thinking now in my head that if I had two, pair, two shoes, they would form a group. Because a pair of shoes equals two different shoes. For example, we have a pair of thongs. We have two pairs of thongs. A pair of slippers. And then we have three other pairs of shoes. So think about the grouping of those shoes. Visualize it in your head. If you need to, trace your finger around the screen to see what are the groups in this. Once you've done that, answer this question for me. How many groups of shoes are there? Not how many individual shoes are there, how many groups of shoes are there? I'll give you a moment to finish that. Let's work it out together now, okay? For those of you who have got the answer, hold on to it. Let's see if you're right. Here we go. So, the first thing we're going to do is, after we've visualized it, we're going to then go and group the shoes. Now, we know a pair of shoes equals two. So our groups are going to be two shoes. To make it easier, let's group the shoes that are the same. So, that's one. Two pink thongs. This is another group. And in that group has two pairs of slippers. This is another group. And in that group has two pairs of normal shoes. And in here we have another pair of shoes. Then we have another shoes here, Mr. Grant's work shoes, and then another pair of thongs here. So each group then has two shoes in it. So each group is a pair of shoes. So how many groups do we have in there? How many groups of shoes do we have? That's right. We have six groups. Let's go and count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six groups, aren't there? Who can tell me how many shoes there are all together? How many shoes would there be all together? Let's work that out. Okay, so we've worked out how many groups there are. Now I want to know how many in total shoes does Mr. Graham own? So he has six pairs of shoes. How many in total does he own? Let's use our repeated addition to work that out. So we've got our groupings. Let's work it out then. So one group, he has two. Another group, he has two. 
another group there's two, then another one, and let's rub these out once we've done them. So that's one, two, three, four, plus another set, five, plus another set, six. And that equals, what does that equal then? Let's, let's do count in twos to work this out. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Twelve is the total answer. What you've done there, year two, is we have been able to group the shoes into twos, into pairs. As we know, shoes come in pairs. And from that, we've also worked out the answer to the question. How many shoes does Mr. Graham have? He has 12 shoes. So you'll be able to group them and also find the problem. Let's do another one to see if we can do it. Okay, in this screen here, we found a number of rocks. Now, we've got more rocks than before, okay, and they're a bit smaller than their shoes. So it might be hard for us to visualize what they might look like in a group, okay? This time, I want to be able to find four groups, okay? The whole idea is to find four groups. Now, in those four groups, you need to make sure that you've got equal amounts in each. So four groups, and in each group has got to have equal amount of rocks. So one can't have more than the other, they've got to be equal. Go and spend a couple of minutes now and see if you can work out where would you put the circle around those to make sure that the groups are equal. Pause the video now and see if you can go and do that. Okay, so I hope you've paused the video there. We're going to work it out now and we're going to see if we can visualize and work out where these groups of rocks are. Because right now it looks like a whole bunch of rocks there. And we could spend, we could count each individual rock, but that would take too long. Let's group them. Remember how I said there are four groups? Okay, let's see how many there might be in each group. Now, if I come down here, this one, two, three, four, five, let's put a ring around that group for now. Okay, so with my pen, I'm gonna draw a ring around that group then. So we now have one group, but remember, we need equal groups, okay? There's no point having one group of five. That wouldn't make sense. We need to make sure they're equal groups. Okay, let's see if we can find another group of five there. Can anyone see another group of five? How about this area over here? One, two, three, four, five. Let's put a ring around that group of five there, okay? So now we can already see that we've done two groups there. And that's going to help us to visualize and help us to count how many rocks there are. Now, there's another, there's two more groups of five in there. Where could that other group be? Why don't we put a line between there and we'll make a group out of here. And then this group here is going to be a little bit squinky the line. That's okay. And there we have it. So how many groups of rocks do we have there? How many groups have we just drawn? We've drawn one, two, three, four. So we have four groups, don't we? And how many are in each group? Who can tell me how many rocks are in each group? That's right, there are five rocks in each group. Now we're going to calculate these. And we're going to come up with how many rocks are there all together. But we don't actually need to write them down. Because I think we're so good at our counting in fives that we can do it together. Okay? Let's have a go. So one group, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. So how many rocks do we have in total? That's right, we have twenty rocks in total. Now I'm going to see if you can work out what's another way that we can group these rocks. What might be an easier way, do you think, that we could group these rocks? Remember the groups have to have equal numbers. So one group can't have two and another group have three. They've all got to have the same amount of numbers in each group. Let's see if you can work out what's another way that you could group these rocks together. Now, I would like you to take a screenshot of this, of this picture here, okay? Take a screenshot of this picture now for me. 
When you've taken that screenshot, I would like you to go into Edge Creation. And I would like you to take a video of you creating equal groups. Okay? And you're going to calculate the groupings there. Just like we did on the previous page, this time I don't want you to choose four groups. I want you to see if you can do another way of grouping these. Maybe you could group them into twos. Maybe you could group them into fours. Maybe you could group, make, make two groups of ten. Whichever way you think that you could group these together. Once you finish grouping them, I would like you to video yourself calculating them, okay? Giving us how many are in each group and how many rocks there are in total. So we, before, we use repeated addition, okay? Find out how many are in each group and then work it out from there. That's your job now. So you're taking a screenshot of this screen now and then you're putting that screenshot into Edu Creations, okay? Now, you're not going on the web to find the picture. You've got the picture here. Off you go and do that. Once that's done, there's another activity for you to do underneath this video. Off you go.